Alex, the point of an electronic access control system is to lock the doors and to only unlock them when, uh, when necessary, right? Mm -hmm. So um, the user presents a credential to the reader, the controller uh, makes a decision about whether or not to unlock that door, and then it sends a signal out through the output to an electronic lock, mm -hmm. right? So let's talk a little bit today about uh, the different types of electronic locks and why you would want to choose one over another. Well, the first and the most common type is uh, a strike, mm -hmm. strike-based system, like here. Uh, recessed into the door frame, mm -hmm. it's only as strong as the door hardware, mm -hmm. most, more specifically the actual handle of the door. It, if you have a weak door handle, it's going to be, it'll fail just as quickly as that uh, door handle fails. And then we've got our mag locks, so magnetic locks. So that's two pieces. Uh, you have uh, the magnetic lock itself mounted to the frame, mm -hmm. and you have the strike plate mounted to the door. So a uh, mag lock is much more powerful. It is utilizing the strength of the entire frame and the entire door instead of just the strength of the uh, strike, which just uh, uses the strength of the, the doorknob. Mm -hmm. And then you've got your uh, electronic bolts. Most people won't have ever seen an electronic bolt. Uh, an electronic bolt is uh, uses a solenoid to actually push uh, a bolt into a cavity in the door frame. So mm -hmm. you have uh, the uh, the bolt mounted into the frame, and then you have a cavity in the door, or you have a uh, the bolt in the door, and then a cavity in the door frame. Mm -hmm. Typically speaking, this will only be used in um, architectural doors in very thin doors and specialty doors. Uh, like I said, most people will go through their whole careers but without ever seeing an electronic bolt. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about power. So the power for all of these is, uh, it requires constant power to mm -hmm. the device itself. So at all times from the controller is getting power Typically, especially with strikes, it's mm -hmm. 24 volts DC, can be 12 volts DC mm -hmm. power, and you present a, ba a card to a reader, the reader goes back to the controller, mm -hmm. controller cuts power, letting you through the door. Mm -hmm. Same thing with mag locks. Mm -hmm. Mag lock, it, it's constant power, it creates a electromagnetic field around it, that's why it's so strong, it could be up to 1,000 pounds of pressure that it takes to break this thing, mm -hmm. You're just trying to pull on it. As soon as you cut that power, it drops and it lets you through. Now let's talk about fail safe versus fail secure. I've heard that uh, that phrase a lot, mm -hmm. and I know that they refer to power, but I don't understand how uh, they actually impact uh, the selection of your uh, strike or your mag lock. So difference between fail safe and fail secure. So fail safe is if your power drops mm -hmm. and your controller is no longer pushing power. Fail safe will make sure that the door unlocks. Mm -hmm. Most common, uh, most commonly used for emergency events like fires, mm -hmm. because the whole purpose is of an event, a fire alarm, is to get everybody out. So you want to make sure that that door is unlocked so that they, you don't have anybody trapped versus mm -hmm. fail secure. Mm -hmm. When that power drops, it locks. Everything locks. Mm -hmm. No entry, no exit. You have to so it's a fire code thing. Mm -hmm. And we know that fire code is very different in lots of different jurisdictions. So we. Uh, tell people to always contact their local authority having jurisdiction uh, when they have any kind of questions about uh, fire code. But uh, when you have um, a, an application where you want your users to be safe, you always should use uh, a fail-safe uh, locking solution. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Absolutely. And then you, know, you might want to use a fail-secure locking solution when you can, but only when it doesn't impact life safety. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, and then when you go to egress, if you're inside space, we need mm -hmm. to be able to somehow unlock that door. On mm -hmm. the outside, you have your card reader, that's how it unlocks. But when you're inside the space, usually we'll use a, either a motion detector mm -hmm. or a press to exit. But we already have a whole video on that, so please mm -hmm. go watch the video, it's great. Sure, so now that we've talked about the different uh, locking solutions, how do you know which one to choose? It really depends on what, uh, what kind of doors mm -hmm. your organization has. Like a standard door frame like this would be great for a strike. It's easy mm -hmm. to install, it's cheap, it's, a lot, it's much more uh, user friendly. Mm -hmm. Mag lock, usually for something that like a high risk mm -hmm. area, something that you really want to keep safe. Mm -hmm. And for bolts, really it's, it's going to be like an architectural thing, something mm -hmm. that neither one of these two are going to look, uh, look pretty with. So when you're in a commercial application, you'll very typically steal uh, steel 
door frames and uh, steel doors. Mm -hmm. uh, when you have a steel door frame, you'll almost always see a slot that's built spe uh, especially for uh, a door strike. Mm -hmm. And they all come in standard sizes, so you can uh, look at uh, a door frame and you can look at the slot that the, um, that the factory installed and you'll know what uh, door strike will fit in that door. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't do that with a mag lock. Sometimes you can order uh, a door that's designed for a specific type of mag lock, but you know you very rarely have that opportunity. Mm -hmm. That said, uh, door strike is always going to be uh, less strong because you're ultimately uh, relying on the strength of your uh, your doorknob, the strength of your uh, push to exit uh, latch or whatever. Um, if you know what you're doing, you can push your way into a door that's just uh, secured by a uh, door strike, especially if it's an underpowered door strike or if it's an underpowered uh, doorknob. If it's in a higher security application, mag locks. Mag locks are uh, rated for hundreds or sometimes thousands of pounds of pressure, so it's much harder to uh, push that open. Mm -hmm. Now, I have seen some uh, pretty cool looking doors uh, that did require bolts that we couldn't use a strike because the door frame just wasn't uh, cut out for it and couldn't accommodate uh, a door strike and the user definitely doesn't want to see a mag lock on their very fancy glass or crystal door or, you know their uh, wooden door uh, what I always did when I was a technician was I would just hire a locksmith mm -hmm. those are the people that know how to cut these things out those are the people that have the specialty tools and the more importantly experience and how to properly put your uh, your bolt in uh, into that door. So, um, how can we? How can people reach out to us to try to uh, get help with designing systems like this? We love helping people. All we have to do is reach out to us at support at midches.com. Be happy to help.